Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to the map editor and welcome back to this island that we were making last time we made a lagoon. We have made peninsulas, we've made offshore islands, we've made forests, we've made fallen trees, we've made jumping puzzles, we've put in shipwrecks and we have rivers. Did I mention rivers? Because we got rivers. You want rivers? I got the rivers. In fact, if we go up, ah, there we go. Yep, it is looking, it's looking pretty sweet. There is a lot of stuff on this island, the shipwreck, the river the forest there's even if as we get close there's a little spring so everything is coming together it is beautiful but we also have time uh, the ps4 version of the game is out and a lot of the stuff that's come out for the ps4 version isn't in the pc version why um two-person development team that's why so yeah i've seen a few bits and pieces and i'm like eh Eh, I'm going to just hide in the map editor for a little bit more. So uh, we have some things that we need to fix. I'm just kind of looking after right and like, oh, yeah, this is the first island that we made. We made an incredibly detailed offshore tiny ass island. Hmm. Hmm. It was, it was a bit of foreshadowing because everything on this island is made up of tiny little vignettes that are incredibly detailed, except this lump of rock we need to do something with that so that's kind of a clue as to what we're going to be doing this episode uh if you're just joining us we're using these controls we're using w to go forward s to go back a to go left d to go right p to go down e to go up we are clicking and holding with the right mouse button to pan the camera around because this is the uh that's the easiest way to move around uh if we select an object and we are using uh r to rotate t to transform c to clone delete to delete and if you set it again, we're we using F to focus. Ah, good. Good, good, good. Uh, terrain and objects, we're clicking these buttons at the top so we don't have anything selected. And there is just one other thing of note. That is the objects and the camera, which is as the title of a very rubbish, uh, rubbish single, I guess, or a book. Um, yeah, as soon as the camera gets close to an object, it wants to slow down which is why it kind of looks like there's lag. It's not lag, it's just the, the camera deliberately slowing down next to an object. So if you go close to a tree or the ground, it slows down Ooh. and then speeds up. But why didn't you just use the shift button to go faster? Make yourself go faster. Well, it's great. Makes you go faster and then puts you in the sun. So, um, hmm, yep. Not exactly the best thing. So let's just get cracking. Let's just get cracking. Uh, we got terrain. We got objects. We keep clicking one then the other because there is a situation where you might have something selected in the world. You open up the toolbox. You drag something out, and then by dragging it out, you accidentally move the object you already have selected. You can have like a double selection occasionally. It is a bit of a weird bug, and since there is no undo, there is no undo. Um, it's easy just to hit terrain and objects to deselect. Make sure you deselected everything in the world so you don't accidentally just move something because otherwise you have to press escape, reload the map, and then lose all the all the stuff that you've done. It's a it's a it's it's a bug. It's a bug. Or is it a feature? No, it's definitely a bug. Right, cool. There we go, that's uh, sorted. We need to dress this thing up. It's a kind of a boring ass rock and it's going to also be a pain in the butt because we have a cliff face with a lot of rock objects attached to it and you know what's going to happen. We're going to slow down, we're going to speed up, uh, which is beyond my control, but also as soon as we start adding foliage and things to this, we are going to be in a situation where we have something selected and then it's going to keep selecting the cliff which is all the way down there, the selection point. That is not something you or I or anyone else can control because we don't have an object list on the side and we can't lock the selection to an object. So just as we can't control the camera speed, we can't control the uh, can't control what we have selected. Pain in the butt, but we are working around that. We are working around it because we have no other choice. So uh, what do we do with this? Well, it's big and it's gray and it's boring. I'm going to be honest with you guys, big, gray and boring you don't get uh, by the sea. You get interesting because every time you turn over a rock, there's something interesting there. Uh, so we're gonna grab the bush, a big structural object. We're gonna take that. Um, and if you, so if you put the, the uh, take something out of the toolbox and you put it in the world, it's gonna try and follow whatever surface it touches. So if you have it on the beach, it looks like a big sleepy dog 
apparently. Does that look like a sleepy puppy? Is it just because I'm tired? But that just looks like a sleepy puppy. Hmm. I think that's just me. Just seeing things. Uh, but yeah, okay. So. What I'm going to do is uh, click and drag. And we're going to drag it so it sort of touches the cliff face. Kind of close to where we need it to be. Unfortunately, um, it's in the water. You don't tend to find uh, land plants. Things like shrubs and trees and stuff in the water. I know mangroves exist, but um, typically what happens is a storm will roll in. And even if the plant is um, well resistant to salt, uh, the force of the ocean just annihilates everything it touches. So there's usually a gap between the sea and a, where the plant layer is. So rotate. rotate. Let's do a little rotate green and blue. And the axis is going to be different depending on, well, just how it was pulled out of the toolbox, I guess. Uh, T to transform. I'm going to pull it up. We're going to push it in and now I'm looking for something very very specific a very specific look and that is green on gray uh, it's, it's so in fashion this season I mean um, I know it's uh, it's coming up to summer I'm not in summer yeah still spring at the moment uh, unless you're watching this in the future in which case future people uh, I admire your flying cars excellent um, <laughs> it's kind of, kind of assuming this video is going to even be online when we have flying cars. Ooh, hmm, don't know about that. So uh, yeah, this spe very specific look. So yeah, I don't want you really in the sea. Uh, I th I'm, I'm not sure we're going to be able to avoid that. Uh, we're using transform and we're using rotate just to manipulate this around in a very fine way. Um, now I know that you can walk on the shrub model, but what I want is so when people are up here, you're walking along I want that green there we are to contrast with the gray and it does look at that suddenly you have stuff underneath the stones that you're jumping on and uh, it looks a little bit more interesting than just gray um, it looks more interesting also when you're sort of coming to the island on a boat but yeah I want people to be looking over the edge and that's what I want them to see because quite often if you're on a cliff path and you're like, this is a cliff path. You do get you know, little bits of grass or foliage just growing in the most random of places. Wherever there's a bit of moss or dirt and a seed land, stuff will grow. That's, um, that's nature. You know, nature uh, finds a way. So, yeah, cool. Uh, we have that. That is it's kind of sweet. We have this also gray area here. Now, this is going to be a bit more of a problem. Terrain objects decent like that don't want don't want to be moving that around and we spent ages placing it p -p 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 placing it so we'll grab another shrub out now this is a bit of an issue so if we take this do a little rotate uh teach transform down boom we've just broken our jumping puzzle what what how what so you're jumping over here oh, well we you would be a apart from the fact that we've just got a face full of tree so you're jumping over here and you're just like here buddy hop buddy Straight over there. Hippity hoppity. I can't really hippity hop in the map. But you kind of get the impression. Uh, and it's like, well, I could walk on there. Or I could literally just walk up the bush. Because it's got a huge uh, collision model. You can just walk straight up it. Uh, and not do any of this rickety ass path with the, with the blocks that we all placed. So, uh, we are going to be very careful about how we place this. And what we're going to do is kind of... Put it in the rock and then manipulate it in such a way that it kind of looks cool. Huh. It kind of looks cool already. What happened? That doesn't usually work that well. Um, yeah, so you can still walk across it a little bit, I guess. Uh, unfortunately, we can't paint in like a lava flow or... Um, oh, I suppose we can put sharks in. But we can't put like sticks or spikes or like a bear trap or something. Um, so the player's like, oh, I'm going to take a, take a shortcut and then get set on fire, which would be hilarious, but also hilarious. And I'm just going to manipulate it slightly. Um, is it okay being that far uh, that far south? I guess so. I guess so. So what I'm looking for when I come back here is, ah, this bit here. So the foliage on the top of the bush, uh, the sort of sprites. Little little sprites. Each of these are just a um, uh, are just a little sprite layer, um, and that gives the impression of uh, little leaves and, and branches and stuff. 
and it looks good until you get to the bottom of the bush and then there's none of those sprites on the bottom it doesn't need to be uh, normally because when it sits on the ground you you don't see the bottom of it so it's kind of a waste of uh, horsepower rendering horsepower to render all of that if the player can't see it what yeah yeah still gonna be loaded in even if you're not rendering it so um yeah that's fine i like that that's okay so we're gonna hit terrain and objects so we don't have anything selected because if we did have anything selected uh and we mess it up right now uh we would be sad we would be sad pandas i would be very upset i'd just be like oh no why did i why did i break my own map um and again no undo so you have to go and reload it from scratch have i ever done that during a recording and then have to delete the recording um yes yeah I've, I've done it plenty of times and i dare say other people will too when you're in the map editor you'll do something you'll you'll break something and it's it's always sad go and have a cup of tea five minutes to calm down and then come back to it um because you know it's, it's always sad when you get to that situation but it happens to everyone so what we're going to do is we're going to add some shadows and we're going to add some shadows because they're dynamic and we're going to add them using the ficus if i can remember where f comes in the alphabet i'm scrolling up and down and i'm just kind of talking and not really looking with my eyeballs so uh ficus tree that's a really nice place to put it actually just there so i'm just going to take that away for a second there's this little flat bit of rock it's just part of the design of the um of the cliff pillar and it just sort of sits down i'm like that is a sweet place to put a to to, to put a tree ah, and then you do a little crash cut crash cut why do you keep doing crash cuts every now and again um because this is being recorded during quarantine in the uk and every now and again somebody goes past with uh, a high power sports car or something in the middle of the countryside of all places and all you get is like the roaring of an engine even though i'm not sure the microphone will pick it up i can hear it and i'm like hmm hmm i don't want that on the recording so that and helicopters are a pain in the butt uh so we what we have here is the tree we've put it in snugly in the ground so it's kind of uh down further than it would be so there's the base of the trunk we don't need to sit the base of the trunk on the ground we can just jam it in until you get to the first branch that sort of sticks out that is pretty sweet it's kind of up there it's away from the elements and what it does is it adds a shadow to the ground wait what why would you want that okay terrain objects let's just have everything deselected and then go back to terrain hit the cog and what we're going to do is uh should we display the ocean off oh no why would we do that uh whoop turn it on turn it off um that's kind of a little little cheat having the slider up but okay so we have this time slider and that allows us to change the time of day that changes where the sun is during the day and that also changes where the shadows are in a world where things don't move i mean the sea moves that's why i've turned it off for this little demonstration the sea moves that's dynamic the other dynamic thing you get in the world are the shadows so these move depending on the time of day and thing different things happen things like the um the, the the stairs the steps that we put in get picked out by shadows at different time uh, times of the day and they look pretty sweet at those times of the day but also the shadows from the tree move across the world at different times of the day and it kind of looks well it gives it that that momentum that it wouldn't have normally if we just had bare rock you wouldn't get that well you wouldn't get it as much so we'll turn the ocean back on uh, and also crank it back to about midday so yeah you got to think about things like that also where the shadow is going to be at different times of the day it might obscure something that's vitally important um especially if you're trying to bury treasure and you want you want your heroes to be able to find it and you're like well it's got to be at this time of year at this time of day in this type of chamber and they need the stuff in order oh yeah the map as well and uh as long as there's no snakes it's fine hmm hmm okay so we're going to see if we can select the tree. We can't select the tree. We can only select the cliff because the selection point for the ficus is so far down. Oh. Interestingly, we selected something in the distance. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to manipulate it, but I can press F to focus. 
That didn't help at all. <laughs> that didn't help as much as I thought it might. Uh, but that means that's going to be a large object. If you're far away from the camera, that's a cliff. Large objects. So large objects tend to, if you focus on them, put you quite way, way away uh, from them. Small objects. A lot closer. Interesting. Just a little thing to make note of. Um, if you think you've got something selected and you're not sure if you've got something selected, press F and it'll usually focus you uh, in the right direction. Uh, you want to be safe, not sorry. So we're going to hit terrain objects so we don't have anything selected. Ficus tree. Now, do we want a world tree here? Is this, is this world tree territory? Um, because that's looking pretty sweet on its own. It's not looking too bad. Like one, one lonely tree up there. I'm saying... Hmm, I'm saying it could be thicker. I'm, I'm saying there could be more stuff there. I think, but it's not too, it's not bad on its own. So I'm wondering if we just need another tree or something. Just uh just to really offset the, the thickness of the So the uh, the foliage is you you've got a few polygons which make up the branches and the foliage are just sprites with transparency between them so it's just a, essentially a, a color layer with your leaves drawn on it and then everything in between the leaves is still the same layer but it's a transparency so you just see through it it just tells the game oh, render render that as transparent and uh, don't spare the horses um okay so what you want to do is build up layers of transparency i think we could probably move that down a lot further than it actually is Oh, I really hope this doesn't just accidentally deselect and then shift onto the cliff. That would be not good. Uh, so we're just using this, rotating it around, putting it in there, and at some point it's going to let go. It hasn't yet. Now I want to line that up with a crack in the cliff because that's most likely... Yeah, there it goes. So that's most likely where it's going to yeah, um, be... Uh, growing out of. Now it kind of looks a little bit weird. It looks a little bit weird. Why did you do this? That looks kind of cool from there though. And it kind of, yeah it does actually. It overhangs out this way, which is what I wanted. So yeah, that's excellent, but this bit just looks strange. It just looks strange, just sort of stuck to the cliff. Unlike up here, where we found a little flat area and we were like, yep, yeah, it can grow out there. This just looks like, it just looks wrong. So, we're going to fix that. We're going to click on items. Um, we're not going to click on items, we're going to click on rocks. We're going to go down to small rock. Uh, and there's one of these small rock three, I think. Yep. And we put this here, we're going to hit rut to rotate. Rotate it around. It's like a little V with a notch in the top. It's like a little arrowhead. It's great. T to transform, pull it up a bit. And then push it in, and then R to rotate, and then grab the blue, move that in, and then T transform once more, grab red, move you up. What have you just done? Is that witchcraft? Yeah, look, so what we've done is we've added this here at the bottom of the tree, obscured the fact that the tree is growing out of the rock. It still looks like it's growing out of rock, but it now has a place for it to grow out of. Um, it looks kind of awkward, but you know what? You know what? That looks a lot better than it did before. So I'm, I'm happy with that. We can also put some shrubs of trees or plants or something around there. You mean like a nana plant? Um, yeah, a nana plant would actually obscure that quite well. A little, little nan. Um, let's see. We can get this in and looking, there you go. looking okay. Uh, is that clipped into the world? Sort of. Kinda. Red. Blue? I just... I mean, you're not gonna be that close to the leaf in order to see that it's actually clipped into the rock, but all what you are gonna see is, as you're running along, you'll see two things. Again, depending on the time of day, you'll see the light through the leaves themselves, because one of the things the game does really well is have that uh, translucency with the leaves. So if the sun is shining through it, you get a sort of a yellowy green instead of the dark green of the uh, the leaves in the shadow. Uh, and that adds, again, dynamic interest to the game. Um, but also as you move around, 
through the areas that the player can move around uh, it looks okay and if you're in the sea and you're looking up yeah so it just adds a little bit of whoop well that's the camera and object issue that we were going on about earlier um, yeah it looks pretty sweet uh, I am liking that quite a lot. Excellent uh, train objects because we know we've got the cliff selected and I don't want the cliff selected. What about here though? What about here? Well we've got these large pieces of flat terrain. Um, we're gonna need to do something with it. Saruman? Now is the Saruman too big? We only really have like two plants, the Saruman and the Alacasia as our structural plants and we have Saruman 1, 2 and Three. We do something with that, I guess. Uh, I do want uh, sort of a structural element here. Just again, uh, so as you're walking along, it does look like there's some things growing out of the cliff. Now, is that going to be too close to the path? That is the other question. Is it too close? Is it going to look weird? Um, no, I think if, once we've jammed it into the world, and I know these leaves are clipping into the rock. That's, something we've tried to avoid up until now i think the more we try and avoid it uh the times when we can't avoid it it doesn't look so bad huh highlights burnt out highlights which is what you would see when the sun is directly overhead and you're looking at the ocean very hard to see well you do see the detail in the ocean but very hard to see um through those highlights an effect of full spectrum light hitting your eyeballs or a camera lens don't be don't be taking pictures of the ocean. I say during midday, but no, that's the best time to take it because you get the reflection of the sea floor, especially in harbors and areas like that. Hmm. Well, then ignore everything I have to say. Uh, we're just going to manipulate this slightly more. Then no one's going to see that because they're going to be walking over the top of it. So as you're walking along, you're looking down, it's like, oh, there's a plant down there. But also, we have to consider what it's going to look like when you are standing on the shore and you're looking up. And you're like, oh, this is what all this looks like. Maybe I'll go and have a little look over there. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. Uh, terrain objects. So we have, uh, what have we got? Shrubs. We've got trees. We've got banana plants. We've got like uh, salmon. I was going to say alocasia. Whoa, hey, no. It's not, a, it's not a plant that we've got on there. This is a plant we got on there. <laughs> Why were we doing this? Well, because it's huge and it's useful. Uh, so, rotate. Mm. Now, again, just want to rotate it in a way that leaves... I don't mind these poking into other shrubs and other plants, but I do mind them poking into the rocks. So, let's have a look down. You're walking along the top, and you're looking down, and you're like, Oh, that's a long way to go. Yeah, it is. Now, is there a situation where you could fall onto this and get stuck? Um, I know there is with the banana plant. The banana plant's got a crazy like collision box, a collision, yeah, collision box around it. Um, maybe I'm not entirely sure about that. You know, are people likely to be trying to leap off of here? I mean, maybe uh, anywhere where you have a high, a high area. Uh, there are two. So people are always trying to get high, like not high, but higher. If you give people a choice of um, like bunk beds, everyone wants the top bunk. Everyone wants to climb the top of the mountain. Everyone wants to be on top of the building. Everyone wants the penthouse apartment. That's why penthouse apartments are so freaking expensive um, because everyone wants to be up high. And once you're up high, everyone seems to want to jump off stuff. It's like, why? Why would you want to, why, why? Oh, you know. So we can climb it again. <laughs> oh, all right. So yeah, players are going to be leaping off things in uh, weird ways. Keep an, keep an eye on that if you are designing a map. Uh, Alacasia? A little Alacasia? This area just seems a little bit empty. I think probably Saruman, actually. That's not a Saruman. This is a Saruman. Ah, oh, that's not a knife. That's a knife. No, that's a spoon. Uh, so I'm just going to have a little crack in the world. And just stick the plant in it. Red, so T to transform. Uh, this one's got a little rotor rotate. I want to point it sort of up towards the sun, burying one of the leaves in the world. It's not a problem. It's actually quite good. Just want to make sure it is actually connected. Yes, it's connected to the stuff that it's 
So, again, we're going to have a little look. Ooh, yeah. Yep, yeah, it's a little bit of interest. A little bit of interest as you're walking along. But, 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 if you jump across and you look back, that's the important thing. You're jumping across and you're like, oh, I'm just going to look back at where I've come from. It looks interesting. And that's like, well, that's most of what you're doing. You're just making stuff look interesting. You might not have control over uh, a lot of things in this world, um, but making making stuff with a limited toolbox is essentially your art if you're if you're a map maker. So, yeah, that looks pretty pretty good. I'm liking that so far. So terrain objects, decent like that. We don't need to go too mad putting plants and stuff around here. We just need a few bits of uh, large foliage to go in uh, here and there in order to kind of hide uh, or break up this large gray mass. So uh, another allocation maybe we can. I think it's something here just to get rid of that. That just to get, uh, go over the edge of this rock that we've placed to mask the edge of the uh, tree being in there. I think that will, be, that will work quite well from multiple angles. I think it actually works quite well without even having to rotate it. So if we look over here, uh, let go of that. Yeah, yeah, it works quite well. It's just a way of shielding that whole area. I, don't, I didn't want the tree just to look like it was growing out of nothing, but uh, maybe we can move it down a bit. Is up too high? That's the question. I mean, I wish we could manipulate stuff after we've placed it. Oh, we can. You can always come back to something if it doesn't look quite right. I think that's that's better the way it is. Uh, yeah, I mean, we don't need to go too crazy. So train objects um, is a player going to be able to get to the top of this? Are they going to be able to get to the top of this? Are we going to be able to m manipulate the camera in such a way that we can get to the top of this? Uh, probably. So would someone get up here and then leap off into the shallows? Well, oop. hmm. It is shallow enough to actually hit the swimming animation and probably not kill someone. Uh, if they were to leap off. It is fairly high. I mean, you would get a broken ankle if you were to land on the beach. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of stuff down below. We've placed a lot of plants down below. Uh, and that is to to give the uh, player something to look at as they're walking along the edge. It's like, uh, that's a long way up. I don't want to fall. Um, but we haven't really placed that much above. We placed a few trees and some bits and pieces here. I don't think I want to go too crazy with stuff above, but um, I mean, we have a few overhangs over there. I don't think we need to go too crazy, I don't think. I don't think we need to go too crazy, I don't think. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's, uh, it's always a curious one. Right, 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 right. Um, I think we are okay for, for the most part. So we're going to hit terrain objects, just so we don't have that selected. I don't think we, if we look in here, I mean, we could put something on the top just in case somebody does get there. A little reward, maybe, uh, maybe a bit of pee -pee, uh, potato, maybe. Now we got something over here as the reward to get over here. Ah, some tins of food, leather, and a torch, as well as a scully bob. And we are assuming this box is a physics object, which will fall. Hmm, okay. Uh, yeah, we could probably put something up here. I think in potato plant. I'm thinking potato plant. So a little bit of greenery. Just there. Just there. Just there. That, I believe, is good enough. Um, yeah, goonies are good enough. So, good. Um... Maybe I still think we should have something here. It just feels like everything else is is looking pretty sweet until you get to this angle. So here it's okay to be open because you've you've got the jump um, and you've got everything pushed back to show that this is definitely the way to go. There's nothing obscuring it. We're not. We haven't got loads of things in the way. It is very very simple. Here's the jump. That's where you're going. Uh, and on the way back, that's where you've come from. But uh, the other point 
Oh, let's get through the tree. There we go. Um, here. I don't know. It still feels a bit open. Um, <laughs> not the pine tree. Not the pine tree. Uh, I mean, palms. Pine, palm, palm. Yeah, you're not going to get a coconut up here. I don't think you're going to get a coconut up here. Anything that has a, a leaf? Yeah, baby ficus. A uh, baby. Yeah, baby ficus. So, a thing that we could put in. Uh, let's manipulate this around. So, we could try and have a baby ficus sort of sticking up. Mm, I think we, we might be just trying too hard. So, let's get a smaller plant. The ceremony, maybe. Nope. Uh, Acacia. Oh, that might actually work quite well. Little, little alocasia just snuck in here. What's the smaller one like? Uh, actually, quite sweet. Good. I think we might use the smaller alocasia. Right. So what we can do is manipulate that slightly on the uh, rotational axis. Uh, T to transform. Pull that back. Hello. Uh, you are now clapped into the world, as far as your leaves are concerned. Um, hopefully that doesn't collide with the player as you're trying to get through, so we'll make sure that doesn't happen by moving it over. Mm -hmm. Yep, I uh, think that's fine. That's fine. So you're leaping across, hippy hop, and then you have the emptiness of the other side. Oof, that, I don't mind the emptiness here, but it's just here that just kind of feels a bit wrong. We drop a bit. There we go. And it deselects and selects something completely random, but you know what? I think that actually works. So that's fine. And I don't think I, we need anything across the top because we have the potato plant. There's going to be a probably... I was there's going to be some um, foliage, but no, it's just this texture. Um, so we have the sort of green grass texture. I think that's going to be okay, you know. I think it's going to be fine. So we can leave that terrain objects, scroll up, trees. Yeah, I think that's a lot better than it was. What it was before was completely open and uh, a grey pillar. And now it's got greenery. And as you make your way towards the final stage of this little puzzle we've created, uh, unfortunately we don't have lava, so we can't you know, dunk the player in lava. But, 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 it's looking good. It's looking good and most importantly as you're walking along the path uh, it gives more interest down below and um, yeah I'm liking that I'm liking that I think we've done a good job today so I'm gonna leave it there I'm gonna leave it there for the time being if you are liking this definitely leave a little like leave a subscribe and if you do subscribe click the little bell because I'll give you notifications when videos go live and I tell you what I tell you what I tell you what I'll catch you next time <laughs>